No, come back. Eek! Oh, don't eat me! Huh? Well, you don't want to come eat me? And you're not bullies? Guess again, nerd. No. For real? Phew. Boy, that's good. I thought for a second I might have an accident. Um, aren't you one of those creatures from Boggly Woods? Why are you down here? Uh, what, what? Why do you know about me? No, you, you must be... You guys are working for those x knots aren't you? You chased me here. No, it's the end. x knots What the heck are those? Sounds like tissues to the extreme or something. Look, we're not here to do anything to you, so relax. Tell us what's going on, okay? Well, okay. This gang of bad guys who called themselves x knots came to where I live. They came inside our great tree and started tearing it apart and causing trouble. So, I've come all the way here looking for help. A bunch of bad guys in the great tree? If those are the same bad guys who took the princess, they might be in the Boggly Woods to find the Crystal Star. Hmm. Now that you mention it, they did say something about some Crystal Star thingy. But we punies don't know anything about any crystals or stars. Say, could you guys help us out? Maybe chase them off? If you do, we'll give you a... What was it? The Crystal Star? If you do, we'll have the puny elder give you that. I don't know what it is, but if it's if it'll help you us reclaim the our tree, I'm sure the elder will agree. So what do you say? Let's not waste any more time. I'm begging you. Oh yeah. Really? You aren't joking? You'll do it? Oh yeah. Um, I guess we should. I'd feel pretty bad if we didn't do anything. Plus, we do need to get the crystal stars where those X guys do. Oh, thank you so much. This is great. I'm so happy. My name is Punio. Pleased to meet you. I'll take you to where I live. Follow me, okay? It's this way. Okay, I've got to change that. i got to take that badge off. I'm sick of hearing... Wait, hang on a second. I'm sure the puny elder set some button around here, open the secret entrance. Aha! Damage dodge. Yep, equip that right now. Uh, let's get rid of. Get rid of multi bounce. I don't need HP plus. But it's nice to have for the moment. Yeah. Damage Dodge is a great badge. You can get to the woods we puny's live in by going through that pipe there. Okay, hurry, hurry. Alright. Here we go. Chapter 2. The Great Boggly Tree. And that is where I'm going to end the stream whenever this little cutscene ends. Whenever it wants to end. Oh, I gotta press A. That's right. Every time I forget to do that. So the Boggly Woods, huh? Looks mysterious, all right. What are, what are we run into next? Yeah, I'm okay, just a little bit further and we should be able to greet the, see the great tree. The Elder and her friends are waiting for us there. Co, and my little sister too. Come on, let's go. All right, where's a, where's a save block? No save block? Oh. All right, <clears throat> let's see if I can get her voice down. I can't do the hee hees, that hurts my throat. Time to go to work, lovelies. Vivian, you understand what you've got to do, yes? 
Mm-hmm. Find that Mario guy, steal the map to the Crystal Stars, right? We could just do do away with Mario and his friends, can't we? Or is it that bad? Oh, bad things happen all the time, Vivian. But you're right about our goals. If my information is correct, Mario should be coming down this road quite soon. You must ambush him here and get that map. Hmm, what's this now? Vivian, what's that you're fawning over there? Oh, what, you mean this? I found it near that tree over there a while back. Isn't it gorgeous, Nicholas? It was so lovely, I just had to pick it up. Hm, Vivian, for shame. Picking up someone's scraps, disgusting, greedy. But enough about that, Vivian, my dear Packrat. Bring out the sketch of that Mario guy that you got from Grotus. Eep, what? I, I don't have that. You said it was way too important, so you took it. You should have it. Don't be ridiculous. I don't have that thing. You were in charge of it. You never to the worm. Blame me for something you probably screwed up. But I... Go. <laughs> go, go. <laughs> oh, what is it, Marilyn? Huh? What's that? A mustachioed fellow. This is no time for such nonsense, you great oaf. Save your games for later. Now, now, where was I? You, Vivian! Don't tell me you lost our precious sketch! But listen, I... Look, it's not my fault. I never had the sketch. Silence, you dits! Such impudence! How dare you talk back to me like some rebellious child! It's clear to me that you're the only rationale you understand is force. For your punishment, I'll be taking that necklace you just found. Yes, so sorry. But, but, Belden? Oh, you're horrid! Oh, go, go. Save, block it up! Give me that level up. Level up. Yeah, let's do BP again. Clears up how many points? I got four right now. There's the tree. The great boggly tree. That's what I was telling you about. That's where we puties live. That's home. Uh, of course, it's not just us in the lot in the tree. Lots of jabbies and piders too. Well, anyway, Mario, follow me. Got an end coupon. All right. Oh. Ha. Great tree. You forgot its name. It's the Great Boggly Tree. Right there. No. Oh, I see it. Give me that badge. I'll take it. Thank you. He is up to 15. Hey. 
Uh, well, take a look. This door wasn't here before. Someone just installed it. And I can't open it. I thought I could finally save everyone. I'm a fool. Hey, don't take it so hard. It does look sturdy, though. What do we do now? Uh... Um... Um... Got it! Mario, over here! Long ago, the puny elder told me about a secret entrance somewhere around here. We'll get in that way. Uh, the problem is, I doubt finding it is going to be easy. I mean, it won't be labeled secret entrance. Not to be a worry word, but well, how in the heck can we find a secret entrance? Well, I'm tinned by this invisible thingy. We need to find and remove the thingy. Boy, but removing a normal thingy sounds tough enough, let alone an invisible one. Uh. Oh, got it! Flurry! Surely Madame Flurry's powers can help us. Flurry is a refined and dignified lady who lives in these woods. The Hunter says she's a wind spirit who can wield the powers of that hair with ease. You see where I'm going with this? She can use wind power to blow the thingy away. Well, I want her to try. Flurry lives in the deepest corner of the woods, so let's head back in the direction we came from. Ha, ah, these woods are the most wonderful in the world. Yes, indeed. Building a house here was just the finest idea I ever did have. Oh my, yes. This place is so different from the f bright flashbulbs of the world I'm used to. Such peace, this negative image of the real world, soothes my body and soul. But what's even better is that I, Madame Fleury, grow ever more lovely here. Plus, those squishy, adorable little punies that live in that tree are so nice to me. But, I suppose if I stay here too long, I'll begin to crave hustle and bustle before long. Oh, oh my, it's happening even as I speak. Hardy, I feel the need for drama. That moment of exhilaration when the spotlight shines down on the stage of me. Surely I was born to be an actress for the ages. It's settled then. I shall rise again, but... Before I make my comeback, my stage comeback, I simply must whip my body and mind into shape. I'll just have to put on some makeup and make my beauty even more beautiful. Wait a moment. No! It's gone! God, I tell you, my... My... Music here is kind of cool. East from here, we'll see Flurry's place in no time. What's up, man? You got anything? <laughs> Mini, Mr. Mini. Cool. <laughs> I'm good, homie. Oh god. Oh. 
Down the pipe we go. Hola. Uh, excuse me. Um, maybe she isn't here. I wonder if she went for a walk in the woods. He's going to have a safe walk out of the way, just in case. It's a nice house. Madam Flurry, hello. If you're here, say something. Eek! No! Out of the question, you must have come in here. Uh, Madam Flurry, are you there? Is that you? What are you doing? Oh, wait a moment. Those darling squishy little footsteps. Is that you, Puno? Oh, it's been an age since I saw you last. You poor dear, is there something you need? Uh, well, the thing is, we have a problem. The great tree entry hole is blocked. My puny friends are trapped inside, so they're in a pickle and Mario needs these crystal stars. It's a train wreck, really. That's why we need you to come with us and find the secret entrance, Madame Fleury. Oh, is that all, dearie? You came all the way here just for that? My adorable little Puno. You know I would do anything in my power to help you. However, lamp I can't say that word, I'm not even gonna try. I'm in a bit of a bind myself. I can just cannot come out. Gee, is something wrong? It's somewhat embarrassing, but I never go out without my favorite nickels. I just can't find the blessed thing. I suspect I dropped it on my daily constitutional. I'd be simply scandalized if anyone saw me without it, so I shan't be going out. I absolutely must have that necklace to highlight my beauty, and that's that. Gee whiz, that must be some nice necklace, huh? Hang on. You know what? It's weird. I'm sure I heard someone talking about a necklace. What's that? Do speak up. You, whoever just spoke, do you have some clues to my, as to my necklace whereabouts? If you do, you must help me. Please be a dear. Find it and bring it back to me. After that, I'll most certainly join you and help my squishy little friend, Puno. Don't worry, Madame Flurry. I'm sure Mario can find your necklace. Where it is, he's super. You can do it, right, Mario? Nah. Nah. <laughs> Great, it's decided then. Let's go find it. I'm sorry to trouble you so. Yep, I know exactly where to go. Eldon, I told you, you'd blame me for losing the sketch, but you had it! Silence, you twit! Not, now's not the time to get hung up on stupid details. We must study this sketch. Wow, this Mario guy looks so manly. Check out that bushy mustache. How handsome. You know something, though, my lovelies? I swear I've seen this gentleman before. Ah! He's Mr. Mustache! Go, go! Ah, I don't believe this, Vivian. This is without a doubt all your fault. I'll be dealing with some strict punishment later, my dearie. Oh, yes, promise you that. What? That's not fair. You're the one who had the... Silence, you squirrel brain. Don't you cop that insult attitude with me. Oh, this is not fair. And about that necklace, I was thinking of returning it to you, but no more. Aww. And since you caused this problem, you have to figure out how to find this Mario chump. Oh, God. Well, if it isn't Mario. Shiny mustache or no, you can't be too bright if you came here looking for us. And you know why? Because we were waiting for you. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I remember. They're the ones with... Hey, wait a second. What do you mean you've been waiting for Mario? That sounds suspicious. Hmm. I have no quarrel with you, but I simply can't allow you to hunt for the crystal stars. And so I'll be taking that little map of yours just as soon as I deal with you. Whoa, whoa, scary lady. How do you know about the map and the crystals? The crystals? Have you talked to Princess Peach or something? Okay, now that I think about it, who are you anyway? Those who seek names are often disappointed, but if you insist, we'll tell you. We are... The Three... Shadow Sisters! 
the three Shadow Sisters. Vivian, you ninkin' poop. What are you babbling about? It's just shadows. The three shadows! Sisters make us sound less mysterious and less scary. How many times must I remind you? All oh, right, sis. I'm sorry. It's just, it makes me really happy when you call me your sister, so... How insufferably sappy! Oh, you've got some fierce punishment coming your way. Oh, gee whiz. I hate being punished. That's for the later, though. First, we have to deal with this Mario and his friends. Let's do it, my lovelies. Marilyn, Vivian, the might of the three shadows, relation withheld, will be more than enough to win the day. Oh, okay. I'll go. <laughs> go, 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 go. can do. Go. I'll never forgive you if you lose. Sorry, sis. Oh. Oh, yeah, we need to get rid of you. My defense is down. to Mario. Plus four. Whoa, whoa. Here, take this fire flower. Sorry, sis. Here, we got Vivian out. Alright, it's up to the big one. Five, damn it. Alright. Mess her up. Is she a big tank? Go! Sixty-seven. Oh, maybe we just touch go over confident. Marilyn, Vivian, you lumps. We would have won if you two pulled your weight. Both of you, prepare for a world-class punishment session when we get home. Go. But the necklace! Leave it! Bye, Vivian. Flurry's favorite necklace. That's Flurry's necklace. Yes, let's take it to her. And time for another cut. Alright, we are back at Madame Flurry's house with her prized necklace. to see what she has to say. Oh, poor, poor me. 
when, oh, when will I see my precious necklace again? Oh, you delightful fellow. You found my necklace. I'm beside myself, truly. But you still mustn't see me. Please leave the necklace by the door and wait a moment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, splendid, splendid. My oh so ravaging necklace. I'm awash with joy. My word, Mario, isn't it? And you are my heroic little necklace hunter. Well, my, 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 aren't you a fine specimen of a man? Yes, indeed. Huh? Huh? <laughs> I simply must thank you for your graciousness. How to do it? Perhaps if I grabbed you and gave you a little sugar? Oh, no. Here I come, handsome. Time to give a proper thank you. Pucker up. Ah! Ah! No, Mario! Oh, Mario, you are just the cutest little thing I've ever laid eyes on. Coops and Pookio! Yes, you are, and that's that. So tell me, are you truly looking for the crystal stars? The very same crystal stars spoken of by all the low lives in Rogue Port? Hmm. A danger filled search for a beautiful jewel. How, be how absolutely marvelous! Here I was thinking how frightfully bored I was. It's time for a change. And besides, I do declare that plus plush mustache of yours has completely swooned me. A man as manly as you must attract all sorts of trouble, and I want to keep you safe. So well, I dare say I'll be joining you on this little adventure. I assume that's fine, Mario. Oh gosh. Flurry joins your party. Flurry's ability. Exhale gusts. Oh, she can make him dizzy. That's cool. She has Gale Force and Body Slam. This is wonderful. It's so nice that Flurry likes you, Mario. Really, it's great. And even more importantly, Flurry's chosen to join us. Let's go to the Great Tree. Oh, boy. Alright. We have Madam Flurry now. Let's see. she got 15 health. Blow it away. Blow it away. Secret entrance. That's the secret entrance. We can finally get inside. Here I go! Aren't beauties just the most precious little things? Mario, I feel I must ask. Did you know that I used to be a rather famous actress? I was a diva of the stage. I was known as Madame Fleury the world over. But the filthy air outside the spotlight repelled me. So I came to the woods. And soon enough, I glimpsed the beauty of these punies. And their pure little hearts. They reminded me of my own innocence as an actress. That made me realize I shall ever love the stage. I must feel the spotlight shine on me again. I must! As you can see, these dear little punies help me find my true self. That's why I must help them however I can before I go on my own adventures. Mario, can you hear me? Check it out. Got it open. The time has come for me to repay my debt to the punies. Come along, Mario. Alright. Open up. Knock, knock. Open up the door. It's real. right here. What the hey? Hey, Elder, everybody, come out. Hello. Oh, 
Oh, it's the x knots Whoa, who are you guys? How'd you get in here? Whoa, dude, is that, isn't that that Mario guy? What? He is! We better get, get him in. But dude, the Lord Crump told us to tell him immediately if we found Mario, remember? You idiot, use your head if we capture him, we'll get all the credit, man. Duh! Oh yeah, right on. Let's rock this chump. One, two, three, break! Alright, some x knots to give him the work real quick. Man, that's hard. What is he He's drinking something? Huh? Okay, so it's not as hard as I thought it was. Good to know. Jump on his head. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Crud, that's stung, man. Dude, maybe reporting back to Lord Crump isn't such a bad idea after all. Pew, 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 pew. Pretty slick handling. We're handling those guys, Mario. Seriously, way to go. But the question remains, where did everybody go? What could possibly make everyone leave? Oh. Finally, somebody shows up. What are you doing hiding back there? Come out for Pete's sake. I found us a powerful ally. He, he's huge. Uh, are you sure? Your huge mustachioed man will try to eat us? Huh? Hey, who's that? Who else is back there? He's massive. I don't like him. He'll crush his danger nice stash. It scares me so early. Now, don't worry, everyone. This is Mario. He's our friend. He's here to help. All those bad guys, Mario will stomp every one of them. Just like those last goons. Is this it? There are so few. Well, we have to make do. Let me formally introduce Mario. Wait. How do we really know this burly fellow is our ally? He might be one of them. Beautiful. What are you saying? He's not one of them. Listen, we can all fight alongside Mario and chase those goons out of here. We can take back our tree. Ha, huh, big bad Punio. Listen to yourself trying to sound all important like. You have no idea the kind of troubles we've been through while you were gone. And why are there so few of you anyway? What happened to everyone? Well, they've been captured by those goons. The Elder, everybody, including your sister. What? Putini? Everyone was captured and taken somewhere within this big tree. They said it was because we wouldn't tell them where to find some crystal thing. We told them we'd never heard of it. Oh. Well, that absolutely tears it. We've all got to go look for them right away. What are you saying, Punyo? We can't do anything to those giant goons. Man, this hairy old man to our ranks won't help a bit. Look at him giving me the stank eye. How can you say that? You, you can't know that. We have to try, don't you see? Think about it. If we all get together, we can take on anyone anywhere. So who's with me, huh? Come on, everyone. Let's pull our string. Ha! Punyo, Punyo, Punyo. Not to convince me because I think you're losing it. Tell you what. You and Mr. Mustache there can get the re revolution started. If you can free our friends who got locked up somewhere in the tree, then I'll join your little crusade. Ha! Like that'll ever happen. Please! Fine, we'll show you. Right, Mario, right? Come on, follow me to glory. Let's go help them. Screw you guys. Save. Here we go.
So it's like a little weight system. Power punch. Keep it going. Elder! Purdue, is that you? You're looking well. Why are you so calm, Elder? You're trapped, and this is our daring rescue of you. Oh, a rescue, is it? Well, thanks, I suppose. Those are quite exciting. But I think you have to help the other punies before you rescue me. Where are the others? Hmm. Big brother? Is that my punio? Putini, thank heavens. You're here. You're safe. I knew you'd come for me, Punio. I just knew it. Of course I would, dear sister. And I've brought us a mighty ally. Look at him. We're going to get you out of there right away. I swear, you just hold tight for a second. Okay. Mario, listen. We've got to find the cell keys or we're going nowhere. Alright. Let's go find the cell keys. Man, this is brutal. How much longer till we find that stupid crystal star? Not even those puny punies. We captured no anything about it. They live here. And worst of all, I got stuck holding up onto this stupid silky. Oh. Perfect timing. So bored. Feels like a big old nap is in my near future. <laughs> oh, Miss Meows! Uh, ouch. Oh, well, isn't this a treat? We must stop meeting like this, don't you think? Excuse me, we must what? Are you a friend of Mario's? Oh, wait, I see. And I will certainly do not approve. Well, anyway, I heard there were nice badges to be found here, so I came looking. Oh! <laughs> Who cares about that? Love to need to see you again. Oh, mercy me, Mario! You're popular with all the girls, aren't you? The precious crystal stars you're looking for is beneath this tree underground. Good luck finding it before the others. <laughs> Take care, my handsome stash superstar. Let's get together again soon. Well, don't worry, Mario. I'm not too jealous, but goodness, what shameless flirting! Oh, my achy. Hey, you! You're the dirtbag who hit me from behind, aren't you? Yeah, real fair, you scum. You fight dirty, you get dirty. I'll be doing the dirting. <laughs> the dirting. Can't play this way. Got a shooting star. Oh yeah. Easy. Red key. What we got in the chest here? Ultra shroom. Bye bye mushroom. I'll use it. Be dumb to get rid of an ultra shroom this early in the game. There, they got this cheer red key. Elder, we're back. We're here to rescue you. Foolish child! Punio, sit down this instant and keep your mouth shut. Huh? What? What? Why did I do? Uh, listen, Elder, I don't know why you're mad, but we came here to help you. Stop your mumbling, you. And you mind your elders, you whelp. How could you abandon your poor sister and run off like that? Absolutely shameful. But, but, Elder, I just went to find help to help rescue you. Oh, stop with the whining. You never interrupt an elder mid-lecture. Never! You wonder why all the other peonies call you doofus sometimes. That's why. Your time to be a doofus is over because you have to leave our puny tribe one day. 
That day is not far off, and that is why I need you to listen. Now, first of all... Several hours later. Oh, God. Yes, Elder. Yes, I understand. Bah! Only answer once! Let's say, by the way, why are you here anyway? Uh, I was just telling you we came to rescue everyone. We started with you, Elder. Oh, is that so? Well, good. In that case, get me out of here already, Carmony. The cell's cold, which isn't good for the old back. And there's this damp stench. Ah, uh, well, there she goes. Oh, it's a girl? Enough standing around. Just you wait, Petuni. I'll be right back for you. Okay, big brother, I'll be waiting. We need to find the blue key to... Too, right, Mario? Let's go downstairs and ask the elder if she knows anything and hope the answer is, you know, brief. Yes, please. Oh, for this Impugno. Hmm, you heard me. Hmm, I can't say I expect you to manage to rescue the Elder. I told you I could do it. Don't get a swelled head. This doesn't mean I'll accept you as our leader. And it definitely doesn't mean I completely trust that mustache guy either. For starters, you still haven't rescued the other Punies yet. I'm not lifting an antenna to help until you do. You stubborn mule! Despicable! How dare you talk like that knowing what we're up against! The weirdo soldiers taking over a tree were bad enough, but now the Jabby tribe is helping them? We must stay together now. We must face them. Don't you understand that? What? The Jabbies and the intruders have joined forces? Then maybe the Jabbies have the blue key. Shut your trap, Puniper and Punio. And mind me, you hear? You'll help the Mustachio here. What'd you say your name was, sir? It was a, a Marty, wasn't it? It's Mario. He's Mario. I mean, jeez, he's only world famous. Come on. Yes, yes, simmer down, you and everyone else. Help Mardo, Mardio clear out our tree. Oh, all right, Elder. Whatever you say. I'm not heartless or anything. To tell you the truth, I'm worried about Petuni, too. And you're right. We have no choice. We must fight. Right, everybody? There you go, my puties. That's the spirit. Ten puties joined your party. Thanks, you guys. Say, if you have a moment, might I ask you a question? We're looking for a lovely gem called a Crystal Star, do you know of it? The Crystal Star, eh? Mmm, yes, perhaps. And down, 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 beneath at the bottom of this tree is a funny colored stone. Well, what, do, what, do, what do we do with it? Oh, right, guard it from the evil and give it to the pure heart. That's what generations of elders on the top it might be the Crystal Star. Mario, Mario, I'm calling it. Your heart seems pure enough, so the funny colored stone is yours. I don't quite see how just yet. But I bet all this is connected to us getting our tree back. You got all that, Mario? Crystal Star, I'm at the bottom of the tree. Go to it. Oh, hold your horses. I forgot something. Before you can get it, Crystal Star must save all the captured punies. Yep, you'll never get to that gem without the help of the punies. No chance. So here, you better take this. It's a puny orb. It's a symbol of our leader. If you place this on the pedestals you see around a tree, the punies will gather. Just remember to take the orb with you whenever you're done using it. Because, well, if you don't, everyone just kind of hang out and stare at the orb. <laughs> the way they described that. That's funny. Alright, guys, let's go rescue everybody. Oh, and one more thing. Oh, gosh. So sorry, so sorry. I've been awfully forgetful as of late. On your way to the Crystal Star, if you lose any of the pennies, just come see me. What I'll do is I'll give you a whistle to call them back here. You got all that? They're like Pikmin.
what came first, the Pikmin? Or... The... My goodness, would you look at that? A pipe leading down, let's see where it leads. Mario, you know we can't move here from... Yes. I thought I had to keep him there. Yeah, next knot. Mario, that was a jabby! And I was right, they have the key to the blue cell! Our tribes have been enemies for a long time, and every time we meet, we fight a lot. And now we know they're helping the intruders and trying to seize the tree! But I used to get along with Jabble, he's one of the jabby tribe. The Jabble I knew would be hiding somewhere right now, not waiting to fight anyone. I wonder if even Jabble is my enemy now. Oops, hit them all. Easy. Mess up the time. Bingo. No bingo. Not about to deal with it. Okay. 
what's in here? Secret item shop. Yeah, I'll buy the honey syrup. And I'm gonna buy this ice storm. Hey, yep. Wait a minute. You know, it's just a save block. Or not a save block, that's a healing block. Give me that. Give me the FP. Which actually, we can get that damage dodge for the partner. It's Jabble. Why are you hiding back here? Whoa, a Jabby? Not good. Man, that little flare's gonna get mixed up in my stock. I suppose I can't go discipline him. He's still just a kid after all. Oh, what a precious little thing. He hasn't done anything wrong. Mario, we simply must go easy. Okay, we'll leave him be. Oh, what ails you, my little pudding pie? He seems so lonely, doesn't he, Mario? Why, well, he looks like I do when I step into the spotlight and then forget my very first line. Oh, hold up now. You know what? I believe he might wish to join us. The young Jabby saw it tonight. It appears he is your new ally. I heard the rumors from Madame Flurry to them Jabbies. Yeah, the word is out. Mario can win over the hearts of anyone and everyone. I tell you, as a people person and a salesman, I must say I'm a little bit more than jealous. Alright, so down we have 12. Oh no, he's just here for the ride. It's the Jabbies! It's a 10 Jabby squadron now. Let's get them, come on! They walked all over, so we have to regroup and try again. How's this work? Okay, I see how they want me to do this. Oh, we did it. We defeated every last Jabby here. I have to destroy the Jabby High Fortress. Damn. What's gonna happen to us? And, hey, by the way, what's that thing you've been holding onto so tightly? It's a mushroom. Oh, not to be, you know, rude, but it looks all dry and wrinkly and gross. Yeah, yeah, I know. I picked it so I could give it to my brother to eat. But then I got captured and stuck in here, and I, after a few days, it dried out. 
Oh, really? Great story. Anyway, don't worry so much. I'm like a play aside. I'm sure Punio will return. Nah. Alright, time to do another cut to the cage. Which I think was... Tini, I'm back. We brought the key. We're opening the cell right now. Just want to make sure. Pretty sure I checked these bushes, but. Okay. Blue key. You really are playing Pikmin right now. Big brother. Little Patini! Are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? Nope, I'm fine. Thank heavens. Hey, big brother, I have something for you. I meant to give this to you sooner, but... Mushrooms are your favorite, aren't they, big brother? But... Well, this one kind of tried to try it out. Oh, tasty. Oh, nasty. Big brother. It was icky, wasn't it? I'm sorry. No, not... Uh, not at all. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Very, uh... Very... Uh, yummy. Big brother, you okay? Give me a hug, Putini! Hey, quit it, Punya. Come on. Go get all mushy. Everyone's staring. Well, it was just a really sweet gesture, that's all. Oh, it was nothing. 90 so now there are 101. Damn. We have a little army. So much backtracking. So much. Why so much backtracking? Call the punies. My army. Of course the chunky ones in the front.
me the puny orb. Down we go, everybody. Jabbies! It's the Hunter Jabby Squadron. A charge! Come on, Mario! Out every last jabby here. Now let's destroy the jabby high fortress. We did it. We did it. Man, you guys are dense, brilliant little trap, huh? And boy, did you bite on it. I saw you sticking the silly stone on the pedestal, so I made a fake one. Awesome. I mean, I knew it was great, but seeing you fall for it really gives me a warm fuzzy. Ba 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 ba. Talk about the complete idiots. You guys are so dumb it hurts. Anyway, with you fools out of the picture, I can take my time hunting the crystal star. Ba 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 ha ha. Mario, what do we do? Oh, we have to find a way out of here. But what can we do? <laughs> Counting on you. My only guess is maybe... Pardon me a moment, don't these uncoms look somewhat familiar? Oh, I feel I might swoon. What was that, I wonder? So, cross point, moon, puny star. Oh no, it was a sunstone, moon, puny star. Don't you guys worry.
Gotta run all the way back. Oh man, I just fell. Yeah. It's a big chest. Oh, I got my super boots. Can I do my ground pound? Is that toad it? What are you doing here? I don't like how they call it a spin jump. Yeah. Bye, Toadette. Bye, Toadette. Party member level up. Keep it pushing. Some more badges going. Hey, what's going on, guys? Sam Piper XP here with some more Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. I am joined by Sean, who hasn't been here in a very long time. Hey! This is one of his favorite games, so figured have him here give me the guidance. 
Yes, Just this like in Pikmin. 20 long decade game. <laughs> I was so happy, like, very happy to play this game again. And very happy that one of our friends actually is playing this for the first time ever. Dude is like, you, you fuck, ow. He no liked it, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, our buddy, he, uh, he, we were talking to him ye was it yesterday, and he yeah. is on chapter seven already. Yeah, it's like the second day the game comes out, and it's like, damn, 20, like, I mean, make it into chapter seven? Oh, he, he was having a fun time. Gotta be you get that, right? See, me and Aaron thought you are supposed to do that, but no, just go up the pipe. Go up the pipe? <laughs> yes. You don't have to do it everything, but one funny thing that me and Aaron are definitely doing, we've been doing tattle for like every level or every room. It's kind of fun. have the right idea. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> Coops! What are you doing, man? <laughs> Dude went flying. Dude. What a swing and a miss. There is a treasure chest, so don't leave. <laughs> In here? Yeah, in the room you're at. Okay. Because, like, it's hidden because, you know, you think, oh, I'll just go down the pipe. But, yeah, there's a treasure down there. It's missable. Oh. Ah, oh, shrink stuff. And you pretty much got every shine sprite in this chapter, right? Yeah. All right, so... One of my favorite things is that they added soundtrack and stuff that you could just listen to anytime. So once you get the Shine Sprite, you should have them all. So the way to check it, you can go to the soundtrack to see if you got it for Chapter 2. Or Sound Gallery. Oh, hold the Crystal Star from the chapter in front of the thousand your door. Okay, so you got to do that first. So I guess you can only check after you beat the chapter. Great. Alright, so now I just need to go back up? What, what do I do with this? Oh, that was, that's... Okay, you pretty much left your punies, go back. Well, no, I haven't got them yet. Oh, you never did? No, no, oh. they're, they're stuck in the cage. Oh, I know what you're doing. Did you ever break... There yeah. was supposed to be a X in there. Yeah, I broke, I already, that's how I got down here. Oh, wait, you have the... You have the, you have the new ability. Yeah, the, the like you got the new item. Oh, you didn't break him out. No, I haven't done that yet. Go do that. I I didn't know how. You're supposed to break the 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 X that's inside that cage, and then blow them all out with flurry. Oh. Kind of like the bubble. Oh, okay. I was wondering why something looked different about your game. I was like, oh, it's the punies you don't have, huh? Yeah, I, I, I told them to go fuck off for a little bit. Can't do that to your Pikmin. The, oh my, I, I was like, no, these are Pikmin. These are little Pikmin. It, the music definitely feels Pikmin-ish. Yes. It makes me wonder if they didn't draw inspiration from it. This game came after Pikmin 1, yes. I forget where they're at. Are they in here? Yes. Hi guys, I've returned. I don't think you opened it, because they'd be like... Oh, I know. I gotta break through. I can't hear your game, though. 
You can't? That's weird. I don't know why. Yeah, that's okay. I can listen to the music on my own game. Why not? <laughs> Go down the hole, children. Go down the hole. Put the sun in the thing. That'll make it very easy for you. What the? Go down. Oh my god. In the original? I don't know why it was very difficult for me to, like, actually put each one of them in the hole. It could just be a me thing, unless other people know, like, and the so same I troubles I had. I take him where I was just at, correct? Yes. Which means you gotta blow them all down there again. That's fine. There's a uh, star piece behind that pipe. I already went back there and got it. Oh, you did? Okay. I noticed, like, I feel like in this game they made it to where it's easier to blow the punies down holes. And it used to suck or something? Yes, because sometimes they would miss, so they'd end up on the other side of the hole. So you gotta go on the other side and blow them down there. It's like, man. It's they move because... in a straight line just like Pikmin 2. Yeah. Like, ah. Uh... This is actually my least favorite chapter, just because of the it's AI, the computer. Too. It is. Okay. And so I need to. I go know. Down. Yeah, they they can walk on that. And where do I go? Down. Yeah. Yeah. We did it. Uh, huh, what's oh no, what's happening? I guess the only problem of not hearing the sound and stuff is like I won't know who's talking. That was definitely a puny. So that's how you get to this room. It's very helpful that they just made them talk like Banjo Kazooie characters, because now you can definitely tell who's talking. I don't think I need. Nah, I guess I can for the one HP I'm missing. If you have a lot of money, you'll be fine. Yeah. Oh, you know what? 15 HP? It's not, it's not bad. I'd probably make it to where you have like 20 FP, though. Yeah, I've been, I've been doing the BP. <laughs> hmm, let me see. So th th that thing's gotta be around here somewheres. What you think of his laugh? Fucking his one? Uh huh. What's that? Whoa! <laughs> sounds like a mob. Better clear out. <laughs> <laughs> and Malik, he, he really hated that laugh. It was funny. Buh, 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 buh. <laughs> hey, look at that. Look at that crystal star. That's flurry. Oh, dear me, Mario. Isn't that the crystal star? You fat fuck. Oh, dear. That Richard Beast again, dear me. <laughs> oh, man, am I lucky or what? Or am I just good? You know, like, like real quick before he does something huh. um, this guy when I was a kid I thought that this guy since he was all like masked up and I thought he was mysterious so I was like I don't know why my kid self I thought for sure that this was gonna reveal that he was Wario this whole time <laughs> but no he's not Wario <laughs> <laughs> oh, you say you need a crystal star, Lord Crump? Boom, falls right in my lap. Still, this is humiliating. You shouldn't have been able to escape that cell. 
So for insulting my awesome trap, I'm gonna repay you with a little present. Know what it is? Oh, just a little something like to call a remote time bomb detonator! I'm out of here. Fuck this place. I'm gonna use this to bury you and those squirmy pewties and rubble. Sound fun? Well, enjoy your final minutes inside this dank old tree, and with that, pow! I'm gone. Oh, hell. Okay. I must say, I craved excitement sometime. Exciting times, but I never expected this. Let's go quickly now. Can I just take the same pipe? Oh shit, I forgot the punies. Well, it's okay. I need to go save them. What the? <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> I'd feel terrible if I didn't. I mean, if you fail, then yes, them. You did just kill them in their own home. The God. stylus for that, you gotta hit it after she what? lands. How do you even do stylish? You press A at certain times. So is there a stylish for Mario? Yes, press A, like, at the top of your jump. And then you press A at the top of your second jump. I can teach you when we fight the Battle Master. You don't have to get them. No, I'm grabbing them. I have to. Okay. I feel terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry, just children. Remember. I'm sorry, children. It's just, just like remember, Pikmin. That, it's just like Pikmin. That timer still goes. I know. Like, even in a cutscene, so be careful. Oh, come on, shut up. <laughs> You're doing everything to make it slower. <laughs> oh, sh missed the pipe. <laughs> oh, shit. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Got yo, got yo. What's climbing? Don't give it up, Luffy. Breathing. Don't give it up solo! Just Nami! <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, Nami. <laughs> oh god, are you serious? timer goes down, um, it basically turns into a game over. I think. Look at that. Saved all the children. Good job. Save right here. Yep. I'm trying. Wait, I'm missing some! Oh, shit. Oh, no. oh my god. How much time you got left? I can't I got, see. I like, got another uh, 170 some seconds. You not? I think you have them all. No, it said I only had a 78 out of a 101. Okay, that's okay. You don't need them. I do right. though. No, you don't. Just got, you just go to like the left. <laughs> Unlike the Pikmin, they'll survive on their own. <laughs> You want to do the her voice? You won't be going any further. This way. This away. What? Are you for real? Move it, you old geezer. <laughs> oh gosh. Elder power activate. Whoa, what's your problem, Grandma? You got an ear to the hair tickling your brain or what? Oh god, the cutscene. Oh, oh. Uh, she just break her back? I'm gonna try for my stupid back to start acting up. Ugh. You hot-headed old coot. You gotta find me, I can shine my boots with you. 
Uh. Oh, who? You'll do no such thing. Honestly, did you really think we'd let a wretch like you escape? I do believe you'll be handing over that crystal star and promptly exiting this tree. Buh, 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 buh. <laughs> you guys are wild, you know that? Oh well, I guess I better shut off this timer. Okay, you pests. One pummeling coming up with extra fists. Metal fists, that is. <laughs> oh god. What in the hell? Awake, Magnus von Grapple. Time for a mechanic, a technological thrashing. Enjoy! What? It's a tissue box. It is a tissue box. Are you crying yet? Yeah. Sorry, but this thing isn't armed with tissues. Well, Magnus von Grapple has to look that effect on people. Total weeping terror. And you won't see, you ain't seen nothing yet. Check out the power on this bad boy. Mercy me. That metal colossus is incredible. And yet, there's something rather odd about it. Let's just keep our eyes peeled. Don't be careless. Oh, I did stylish. I guess the question is, are you doing a uh, tattle or no? I have a man. Okay, if you're not going to use it, I'll just let you know. This guy has, this boss has 30 HP. Okay. Here it comes, suckers. Magnus von one. Punish. All right, let's see if I can do this super guard. Right. Nope. <laughs> Pressed it a lot of times. Yeah, I was trying to, I didn't know. What does Stylish really do? Gives you more star power. Oh. Her Stylish happens when you land on the ground. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't do any damage. I just need to get. Yeah, because you have damage dodge. Yeah, I do. Let's try it. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh, not dizzy. I pressed it. Oh, whatever. It's like when her body squishes, then you press it like right That's after so that. awesome. Check out what else this guy can do. You're gonna love it. This might not work out too well for you. What? He can... Should I destroy those first? Um, they do. That's his main weapon of damage, but the best way to get rid of him is using Flurry. Okay. Ah. I mean, you'll pretty much figure out that each chapter, like, they pretty much cater to, like, the party member of that chapter. Adios! Also, it's probably better putting a uh, flurry in the front. You guys see my timing, Sean? I'm about to oh, destroy shit. this. Let to criticize you. No, you're not, because I got it. I got it right on my first try when I did it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, this this is a pretty good early game uh, star power. It's attack just like one. the Star Storm from the first one. Yeah. Star Storm, but you got Star Storm in like chapter three. Yeah. Bingo! I still am yet to only get this like once. Fuck. There is a timing for it, but I just don't remember. It's not randomized. 
They made that attack easier to defend against. Because in this game, they made it to where he kind of... He stops a bit before he stops. In the original, he just... He keeps shaking his leg, and then he stops. Go! Oh, not good. Can't last. Doing the oh no he did do the fist earlier right yeah. he only did the fist he, did he only did it once yep he's Dude, he did it like he did it like every turn to me and Aaron no he's scared he's getting close let's see. Oh, oh! oh. He's probably going to be dead now. Yeah, and so if I time it right. And the first one is guaranteed three. Oh! <laughs> Did you mess that up? No. It just, that was it. Oh, well, that's that's the end of chapter. Blah, oh, this could be the end. I'm nowhere near a level up. Take the coins, though. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Team Rocket blasting off again! Ba ba! No! Magnus Fall Grapple! How could we lose? Oh shit! Oh, oh, oh. I remember this, losers! Lord from Shaman Josh! Poor guy. Arousing success, Mario. How delightful. They're gone. This place can go back to being the peaceful place I remember. Oh, this is the grandma. According to legend, you can have the Emerald Star. The crystal star that resides in this tree. Oh yeah. You got a crystal star! Star power is now three, and Mario learned the special move, Clock Out. Yeah, I don't really care for this special. Clear! I'm not sure if... I'm not sure if it's a great one, but hey. And so, it's still after pummeling the one. crump, Mario obtained the second crystal star. With the Xbox gone, Peace once again prevailed throughout the great tree. The Bongly Woods echoed with the puny songs of joy. But this may not be the last of our, our hero years from the vile x knots They will surely continue to stand in Mario's way and try to put a stop to his efforts. Going to Peach! How do you feel about the x knots They're the, the strange. <laughs> what? Say that again. You can't get in touch with Lord Crump. You are correct, sir. We are investigating now. We should hear any time. <laughs> sir Grotus, please allow me to enter. What is it? I have a report, sir. The crystal star in the Bogby Woods has apparently been taken by Mario. What? You must be joking. What about Lord Crump and the Three Shadows? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Unfortunately, Mario laid a beating on all of them. Mm. Disturbing. Perhaps this Mario character is not the fool I take him for. Speak up, x not. What is the status of the other Crystal Stars? I apologize, sir. We are still searching for the other crystal stars, unsuccessfully, sir. We knew there were crystal stars in Hopetail Castle and Boggly Woods. Yet Mario claimed them first. The one we seized from Roadport. That means... There are four, count them, four crystal stars. Oh, so they have a crystal there. star? Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, they took the one from Rogue Court. <laughs> and we will have them. Keep looking. Do not let Mario beat us to the punch. Yes, sir. Huh. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> as I suspect, as I suspected, there's no reason to doubt that Mario has that map. He must. Listen up, you. I want you to keep a close watch on what Mario does from now on. Absolutely, sir. Love the little X they do. It's like Power Rangers. <laughs> Aaron thinks that he he believes, or to him it looks weird because it's like they kind of go like, you know, when you put two hands to your mouth and you go, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Mario, I loathe you. Or do I? Or do I? Did you oh, make her take a shower? Yes. I was, I was... <laughs> oh, Mario. Did you ever read the mail I sent you, I wonder? I wonder so many things. I wonder how everyone is doing at the castle. Oh, will I ever dance at the mushroom ball again? What will become of me? I was, were you disappointed when you realized that the hair goes back to normal when you leave this room? Yeah. So I, I thought it was. I saw somebody make a meme where it was like Peach looking at the toilet and it's like, man, I hope Tech's not watching because I gotta take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> he most likely did watch. I mean, because he oh. can see everything. Hmm, it's not opening. You, Tech is how, a strange how did, individual. How did you feel about what he was saying to Peach? It's like, when I saw you... Oh. Oh dear. <laughs> I just... I just... I gave him, like, the most robotic voice. So he's just saying that no emotion. Huh, oh, is this text doing again? I was feeling... Heat. I You're making me heat. hot. Can I call you Peaches? Peaches, Peaches, Peaches. Ah. Ah. Hello, Princess Peach. I am glad you came. <laughs> that mail I sent to Mario. Did it reach him alright? Yes, I can confirm that Mario received the mail. Is that so? Well, good. So what do you want from me today? Is there more you want to know of love? You expressed regret earlier. That would not be able to dance at the ball, correct? Were you eavesdropping? I am sorry, Princess Peach. I have been ordered to keep surveillance on you. But so yeah, he was looking. Odd. When you said that I had an impulse to dance with you as well. How I see you would produce this impulse is inexplicable. I must find what caused it. Find out what caused it? There's no reason behind such a feeling, Tech. We need to do something together. It's part of love. I know it. But then again, you are, well, a computer. Princess Peach, please dance with me. Wait, wait just a minute. What, what am I supposed to do? You say you want to dance, it's just so bizarre. I mean, how in the world can I dance with you? You have no arms or feet or moves. Would this be an acceptable dance substitute? Oh my goodness, is that me? Did you create that? Oh, alright, I guess. I must say, though, it's going to feel weird dancing with myself. Ooh. Wait for the bu Oh, God. Okay. Oh. Oh, that was creepy looking. Like how it glitched out when you messed up? That was creepy yeah, looking. Cool like at the same time. I don't play rhythm games, man. <laughs> so this mini game in the original was way too easy because I believe it was just A and B. They made it all of them now. Thank you, Princess Peach. Yeah. 
That was very fun. Just a moment. Fun. Is this impulse I feel the concept known as fun? Tech, are you okay? To thank you for dancing. Please communicate. Please make use of my communicator. Use the keyboard to send whatever message you want. Type it fast, please. Type it fast. I'm finished, Tech. Could you send it? The message has been sent. Please go back to your room. I want to analyze the data from this dance immediately. The data that I thought was fun. You're a weird computer. No, you are mistaken. I'm the world's best and only perfect computer. <laughs> Good night, Princess Peach. Does he look evil to you? He's supposed to, I feel like, but he's not. Yeah, he's just... The perfect computer. Oh my gosh, he's in Pedal Bird. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's just it's just a bit. Right as usual, Lord Bowser. We just got word that Princess Peach was starting in the town up ahead. Good, yes, very good. Then I'm off. These fools don't know what's coming. Wham <laughs> annoying, you so super. <laughs> I can't do that laugh. I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> what is this? Ready to roll. What? Yeah. What? There you go. What is what in the name of God? <laughs> That's awesome. Please tell me there's more of this. I can't say too much. Oh hey, welcome oh. to Pedalbird again. Oh hey, oh, you want to do it? Oh, sorry. No, it's okay. That's his only line. Hide everybody! Hide! hide. Look at it. What a wuss. Yes, hi, chickens. I have no need for any of you. What do I do need, though? It's Princess Peach. Now, where is she? Tell me this instant. Look, Bowser! Over there! Huh? Bingo! Princess Peach, man, that was easy. There she is. I found you, my princess. I, Bowser, the mighty Koopa King, offer my greeting. Now, now, none of that silent trip, you're coming to my castle with me. Clearly, she's so overcome with joy that she's been left speechless. The mind of a maiden is, well, rather complicated. I see, I see, how refined, how elegant, how awesome. I can go for the strong, silent type. There are too many backseat bosses talking my ears off as it is. No! My, my life's treasure! I'd rather die than give up my life-size peach poster! <laughs> give me that shit. I'm out of here. <laughs> po poster Oh my goodness me. Didn't see that coming. Great, just great. Now I look like the huge mighty king of guys who talk to posters. Such a sad look. Oh, I love Bowser. Uh, thank you, Mario, for everything you've done. We can go back to our peaceful way of life now. You know, son, now that we get right down to it, I'm kind of sad to see you go. I do love that Pontificating? word. Pontificating? Pontificating. So come on by whenever you want to sit and chat a while. Yes, please come back and visit. We'll watch for you. We'll work together from now on to prevent anything like that from happening again. Thanks for showing us how to stick together, Mario. Good luck with the crystal stars. 
Oh, this shan't be our last visit. Certainly not, but until then, ta-ta! See you, Mr. Mario! I like how I saved the- I like how we killed his whole kind. But we kept him. He's pretty happy. Yeah, he doesn't even talk. Now he's one of them. Alright. How do you feel about the partners in this game compared to the 64? Uh, I like... I mean, they definitely let them talk more. They definitely get more of a shine. Oh yeah, it's ve I'm very happy about that. I And I like the guys in 64. I think my favorite one was probably Bo. Bo was really good. Everybody loves Bo. Alright. What in the name? Oh, mercy me, sounds like some mail. Hello? I love Mario's face when he looks at Peach's mail. Man, so I'm not gonna read this. My team's gonna switch it. Uh, yeah, I'll try to learn what I can. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, she misses Mario. Yeah, they used to. That means she danced with him. Isn't that precious, Mario? Tail out of here. I don't need to fight you. I don't need to fight you. Ah! Damn, Piranha Plants. Or I can just run. Nah, you want this experience? Yeah, just use Gale Force. No, it does. Well, I mean, they're not gonna give me a lot. It's still a song. Are you serious? How much did he give you? Three. Worth it. No. <laughs> oh, I did the stylish. You got one of the stuff. There's two? Yeah. Well, for the hammer there is. Some of them have two, some of them have one. I will say, Goombella is one of the party members who have some of the best lines when you have her out in conversations. Stay away! Like, her, her sassiness is really hilarious. Stay away, stay away, stay away, stay away. You guys don't give me nothing anymore. I don't need to fight you. I was having Koops out for a minute there. And I just... I have him have this, like, really shy, timid voice. <laughs> Goombella had the sassy girl voice. This good, is good. She is supposed to be sassy. Goombella. I like how she's, like, sassy with people you, you barely know. All the time. Um... I, I actually, I never used her during this uh, chapter, but uh, me and Aaron did it for this game, and he's like, "Damn, she's she's sassy to Punio even." Oh yeah. Oh, get. And I don't I don't feel bad about it. I think it's funny. Happy heart party. That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> She honestly gets a pretty good health or HP level up too. Yeah. I forget how to get over there. It's just you gotta go up I the gotta stairs. Go up the stairs and then fly across, right? Yeah. I don't. I don't think you got the. Did you get the sun? Sh I mean, the sunshine. In the thousand year no. door room. Is it called shine sprite? Yeah, shine yeah. sprite in the thousand year door yeah, room. You got it. Okay. Yes, I did. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's good. It's good. It's good. I actually really like that all the party members. Let's see that crystal star. I really like the party that the party members all come out in this now. It's 
pretty dang good. Did they not used to? No, it was just your partner. That's good. Alright. Oh map, oh map, show me what's next. I know what it is, but I don't know where to go. What? It's in the sky? That's why I couldn't think of where it was at. <laughs> there it is! The resting spot of the next crystal star. Totally awesome! But it looks like it's pointing somewhere up in the sky? Huh? What could that mean? Hmm. Hmm. What do you wanna do, Frankly? I kinda of forgot my Frankly voice, but here he goes. That leaps! That's not it. I don't know why, but I can't, I kind of gave him the Paul Heyman voice back then. I gave him that... this old fart voice. That means that beneath this town, that... the thousand-year-old ruins remain intact. That. It's like that. Okay. <laughs> and that door's been sealed shut for a thousand years by the Crystal Stars. In order to open that seal, we have the buzz with the power of all the crystal stars! But the question is, why did they seal the legendary treasure anyway to begin with? I mean, weren't were they just trying to keep it from being stolen, or what? No, that's not! What's in the trash can? I don't know. What? No, that's not what! <laughs> Jeez, Professor. I'm sorry. So sorry. I know that the treasure was sealed away around the time the town was destroyed. But the problem is, no one's even sure what it was that caused the town's demise. All that's written is this. Darkness stole the sky, and the cataclysm rained down. I must research this more, so we will just make on. Oh, oh, you know the saying. That's you. That's you. Oh, no, I don't, but oh, whatever. How about this next crystal star, then? It looks like it's floating on the magical map. Ostensibly, Emily, go there on vacation to lounge. Trying to fight, but behind the scenes, the richest people in the world wager on the boats. It's like floating. Well, how are we supposed to get in? Get there then. The special what? What channels? Stop being mysterious. How do we get seats on the ship? You don't know what channels are. Not a choice. Oh, Beyond. He's 
the VL test and again, and I already made pretty regular jobs. So, no problem. We'll just go meet this Don Pianta guy, and we'll be on our way. <laughs> Just getting an audience with it won't be difficult. Thank God. Take the check the trash can. Check the trash can. Yeah. You found this crap of paper. The fuzzy horde. They, okay, so you didn't tattle them. Oh, there's more! There's more! They kind of give you some... Some of these... That you didn't tattle. Oh, that's cool. I can read more about them if you can, if you want. Oh, you beat Gus already? Was this a, is this guy? Yeah, you, you beat him? Oh, yeah, I can't beat him. Oh, good job. Alright, uh, go ahead and upgrade it. Coops. Coops. Hey, Coops. <laughs> Welcome to Hollow Merlin. I could power up one of your partners for three shine sprites. So, which partner would you like me to power up? Coops. <laughs> Shazibi! Shazui! Return someday. How much help does Coops have? Now? Fifteen. Damn, not a lot. Not a lot, but don't forget, he does have a point of defense. Wish you would say that somewhere. It, uh, I believe the Battlemaster does. Alright. I know where to take you. Alright, I got this one. But, um, you know what, go that way. Let's talk to Luigi. Have you talked to Luigi yet? I did. I talked to him. He's in like some travel to some kind of kingdom. Oh, he's got a partner right there now. now. Yep. It's a blooper. It's a cookie blooper. Talk to Luigi first. Oh, oh. sorry. Skip his dialogue because he spoils something. It's really funny. Um, have have uh, Goombella. Um. Paddle Luigi, it's pretty funny. That's your brother, Luby. Wait, no, I mean, uh, Lufa. No, I mean, Luigi. If you wonder what Luigi's up to, I'm sure he'd tell you. All you gotta do is ask. In fact, it kinda looks <laughs> like he's dying to tell you stuff, so you ought to wrap up with him. Wrap with him. Yeah, um, you should, uh, tattle the blooper afterwards. Okay. You wanna do Luigi's voice? Well. I went to Rumble Bump Volcano and got myself a marvelous compass piece. Do you think he's actually doing this? Yes. That's awesome. Or, like... Can they make a DLC for this game where we can do that? You really think Nintendo cares? <laughs> I'm hoping we see the support. It was an incredible quest. There was danger in all sorts... Oops. In all sorts of adventuring. It was pretty harrowing, bro. Wanna hear what happened? It's a long story. The Waffle Kingdom. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. As soon as my ship docked on the Pudding Continent, I set out for the volcano. To reach my destination, I spent several days fording through dense jungle. <laughs> Scary beasts were all over. More than once, I thought I was done for, bro. Oh, shit. I may have screamed a bit to scare them off, you know. But as fate would have it, a blooper named Bluey heard me shrieking and found me in this one town. 
I like how they both fell asleep. <laughs> yeah, they don't give a shit. <laughs> Bluey was on a journey of his own, but he joined me after hearing my tale. Now, Bluey's a madman. Back in his hometown, they call him White Torpedo. <laughs> yeah, he's a tough guy. Anyway, he helped me fight the... Oops. He helped me fight the Rumble Bump Volcano. This place was all about bubbling lava pools and heat that make the sun sweat. And the place was lousy with evil traps designed to protect the compass piece. The scariest one of all was the gigantic 100 foot tall statue that stomped around. Now the weakness of this giant statue bro was a red gem on its forehead. This sounds like familiar. Now I can jump high, but not high enough to reach this thing by a long shot. So I came up with this plan for Bluey to hit that weak spot. All you, man, I said. I waited for a pause in the statue's movements and hucked Bluey up there. <laughs> and Bullseye, the white torpedo saved the day. That jewel got whacked. It was a critical hit, and that stone statue toppled and crumbled into pieces. Once that was done, it was an easy stroll to the room where the treasure was. Unfortunately, Princess Eclair was nowhere to be found. But I got another piece of the marvelous compass and put it in the base. Now the compass pointed west to Plump Belly Village on the Strudel Continent. So I set sails once again and came back here to Rogueport to recharge. That's what happened to me lately, but I'll be heading back out soon. Wanna hear about something else? Hell no. <laughs> now. <laughs> this guy's a total hey, liar. Bro. Don't listen to him. You heard his story right well. He did try to throw me, but he completely tripped. And what happens? I end up landing in lava. Lava, man. You think that feels good? Thanks to him, you can stick a fork in me. I'm well done. My pale skin's crisp. That's why he's brown! <laughs> yeah, that's why. <laughs> I thought he was like a cookie because he's in like this weird kingdom. I'll never no. forgive this guy. I'm going to make him pay if it takes my whole lifetime. That's the only reason I'm still hanging around with him. You'll pay, Luigi. Oh my gosh, she's going to hurt him. So it's like he is kind of telling the truth, but he's kind of not at the same time. <laughs> That's so funny. Ah, oh, that you look into obtaining it. It's called first attack. You might as well buy that. That's very useful. It's zero BP. Coopley? Oh, is this Coops' girl? No. Oh, that's, that's his, his dad. dad. Oh. Okay, so, yeah. Yeah, go on the in. You know how to get to the bad shop, right? Yeah. No, I haven't been in it yet, but I know how to get to it. The GameCube? Yeah, th th that makes it to where you can listen to the GameCube version. That's music. Kinda cool. I wanna buy it. So, yeah, they basically still have, like. Is that just nice in case mouse? <laughs> Looks familiar. It's got the same tail shape. I like how happy the the owners get when you buy their stuff. So yeah, you do want the, that green X because it's zero BP. Okay. Anything else in here I need? Um, uh, check the box. Um, how is, uh, oh, there's no pretty lucky. It's just pretty lucky P. Yeah, I think I have pretty lucky. Pretty no. lucky? No, I don't.
So yeah, it makes it to where it's the old version of the music. That's pretty so, cool. So, pretty much makes it to where everybody can be happy. No, I do not have pretty lucky. Okay. Alright, yeah, I wouldn't really get any of these. Okay. Though... Miss Mouse, I got my eye on you. I know that's you. They don't know. I know. You can talk to her. I did, she didn't say anything. You can, uh, Goombella tattle her. It's the badge manager. Yeah, because she steals them all. She's <laughs> gone from smart. the store a lot. Where do you think she goes? <laughs> wow. Oh man, do you have... Who do you have, like, seeing uh, Miss Mouse the first and second time? Uh, first time it had to be Goombella. No. No, no, first, the first time was Koops. Second time was Flurry. So, both times if you have Goombella out, Goombella gets really fucking pissed at Miss Mouse for kissing Mario. Miss Flurry was like, oh, so you got a lot of quarters, don't you? <laughs> quarters? <laughs> yeah, like, means like people courting you. Like oh, they're, they're oh. wanting you. So she she was pretty much fine with it? She was just like, oh, yeah, yeah, it was, it was funny. Oh, I guess I can look yeah. and see if I got all the shine sprites, which I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, so I find it funny that, like, um... Goombella, she basically gets jealous of the situations, while Koops, he's, it's more like, oh man, you lucky dog, Mario, you, and Flurry, she's like, oh, mm, I see, oh, have you cooked your mushrooms and stuff? No. Go back in the house. She can cook you. She's not pissed at me anymore? Nope. Now, she's good at, she can cook things and it's for free. Is this the same Toad from the 64? No. Yeah, it is. Zesty. I thought it is. The one that cooks? Was that her name back then? I thought so. Well, I don't, I don't want to be a Toad racist. Does it cost money? No, it's free. Oh. Like, make your normal mushrooms and your normal honey syrups. Like, you could make them all into better items. Oh. Okay. Take all my mushrooms. I thought it was crazy they gave me an ultra shroom so early in the game. I stored that in the shop. Not a bad idea. Yeah, because it's like... <laughs> you... I mean, 50 HP, it's nice. But that feels like... That is definitely an endgame. End game. That yeah, because... End the most HP you can have is 50. Maybe 60? With the uh, HP plus. Well, oh, can cures poison. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. It's nice that it's free. Yeah. If you can find an item, I think it's a cookbook. You'll finally be able to cook. Um, you can mix items around to make better items. Like, I think a mushroom and a honey syrup put together will make a really good item that heals HP and FP. Um, yeah, so, basically what you want to do is just talk around. The boys told me to look at this. <laughs> I need Bombery. <laughs> Look at this chunk. Ooh. So, never mess with the timer. 
What? Okay. Never mind. What no, but, but he's he's basically a, like a lottery, but you basically use the time to like uh, um, get a good item. I'm not sure if they changed it in this version. I wonder if he's got anything. Shut up. Oh. And get the W emblem. That, that, that. Oh, you saw double pain. Oh, why would I want that? It's the hard mode for the game. It's a fun. It's a gimmick badge. I think. I think it's a good badge because, like, over. basically, if you want the game to be harder, you put double pain on. That, that, that. Interesting. How do I get that chest? You can't get it for a very long time. Oh. Just taunting me. Alright. Um, so, which one would you want to do first? Would you want to do the rope port kind of part of the story first? Or would you want to do some side quests first? Uh, we could do the road port and then the side quests. Okay, then what you want to do is go, go here. past here. Yeah. You're supposed to learn that from one of the dog guys on the east, no, west side. Because he kind of tells you you got to talk to Ishnail and stuff like that. How do I get that? Uh, you can't do that yet. Oh. You want something, chump? This is the fortress of the Robo Thieves. You lost? What business brings a chump like you to a place like this, saying in vacation? Was that? You want to make that lying, cheating, stealing, no good jerky for brains, Don Pianta? Where thieves like us end up poor as dirt, never catch a break because of that guy. Did you come here knowing all that? And you know that scumbag demands protection from us too, yeah? You know all that, and you still want us to tell you how you can meet that crumb? Fine, Mr. Insensitive Jerk, but it'll cost you 64 coins. And you'll budget on the price, not a single coin inside it, those pricey. Them's the brakes. Alright, do I have to pay it? Oh, uh, yes. You, you'll pay? Really? Yeah. Yes, I mean, good call. You're a shrewd businessman. 64 coins on the nose. Okay, then. Clean those ears out and listen here. The store next to the Pianza Parlor in the west part of town buy a dried mushroom and a dizzy dial. Make sure you buy them in that order. Dried mushroom, dizzy dial. You got that? Do that and the shopkeeper will ask you what your favorite color is. You answer yellow. See, yellow is the password for getting into Don's scumbags of some comfy office. You got all that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright. I like the noise it makes. <laughs> so they say these guys are shy guys. They are? That's what I heard. I know they're called bandit guys, so I guess you can call them shy guys. A subspecies. Gosh, that blooper's pissed. Oh, yeah. I love the way Rogue Port looks in this new version. Oh, it looks awesome. This city is pretty funny. Um, so go talk, go into that building. This one? Yeah, talk to this family. <laughs> My mom just plays games all day long. She's never, ever home. It's terrible. The, the father's up there. Oh. Yeah, my wife spends all day in the parlor. I never get anywhere on my novel. I wish I could have fun too. I want to go to Glitzville and see the matches. 
Huh. And now you can actually find the mother, like, in the Pianta parlor. And the what she says there, I was like, oh no. <laughs> in there. Yeah, but I can't go in there yet, can I? You can. Yeah, she's that toad. I love taking my scores on this machine after playing games. I'm here all day. What? My family is worried about me? Oh, don't be silly. They don't mind. They're all so independent. They're the happiest doing their own things. Oh, gosh. <laughs> That's terrible. Yes, it is. Oh. So, Bo? No. Bo's green. Bo. So, so fun fact. Mushroom dizzy time. A fun fact, uh, these boos in the Japanese version, uh, they had, a uh, bunny ears instead of cat ears, but America decided to censor it for cat ears. Why? Oh. Uh, because, you know, bunny ears kind of makes it seem like they're playboy bunnies. Store your in coupons. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Alrighty, mister, what color is your mustache? What? <laughs> Am I supposed to answer yellow? Oh, uh, this one doesn't matter. This one? Oops, what's wrong with me? That wasn't the right question at all. Uh, let's try this again. Uh -huh. Okay, mister, what's your favorite color? Yellow. Uh-huh, well, you check out. You know the password. So, um, you must be an acquaintance of Don Pianta. Good for you. You can go through the door. Go on with your bad self. I like how that she disappears and then reappears. Give me the star. The shine. The sprite. Bye, Goombella. <laughs> What's with What's you, wise guy? Oh, you wanna do it? Do it. Here we go. I ain't too jolly today. If you got a beef, spit it out quick or this is gonna hurt. Oh. Excuse me? You wanna... You want me to give you a ticket for the blimp? See, now, to me, that's funny. You a stand-up comedian? No. You ought to be. Mm. Fucking funny, man. <laughs> you got some nerve asking me for that. I'm Don Pianta. I make crying babies weep. <laughs> Give me that. You want I should run this bum on a rail, boss? Look at him. What a rude. You must like pain, funny guy. Wouldn't you just look for trouble or what? That's so fast, boys. I like this kid's gumption. He just came to talk, you know? That ain't a crime. It's like slowly giving him the four kids Sanji voice. <laughs> <laughs> so we talk. You boys can wait till we're done before you rough him up. You got it? <laughs> Oh shit, wait, I'll be over. You can continue talking, I'm getting a phone call. Boy, so you gotta assume you got a reason for wanting a ticket for the blimp. Out with it. Oh, fuck. Uh, wait, uh, how do I mean? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? You wanna hear how some bra got herself kidnapped? And to rescue this dame, you're out collecting the crystal stars? The crystal stars. Hey boss, ain't those no, no, no. that legend about that ancient treasure? Vinny, you're such a dope, man, boss, this knucklehead believes in fairy tales. Fairy tale nothing, that treasure's real. Everybody should, I don't care if the treasure is real or not, get me? But I tell you, I can't help but like a guy who wants to rescue some girl he's gonna gaga for. I made my decision. You do me a little favor, and you get your blimp ticket. Sound fair, right? Wait, what's the favor? 
It's easy. It's nothing. It's less than nothing. See, the thing is, my own daughter eloped with one of my young associates. The day vanished, but it wasn't too long ago. The day did. They ought to still be in town somewheres. You ought to find my daughter, Francesca, on this. Turn him back. And bring them them both here. Alright, do the thing. If you are unable to bring them here, then all you gotta do is tell me where they are. <laughs> and I shall settle this matter quickly and with what is known as extreme prejudice. Boss! We don't know nothing about this guy. You can't rely on some goofball for this job. Yeah, boss, Vin is right. Leave it to us to find Francesca. <laughs> it's because you lugs can't find her that I gotta swallow my pride and ask this guy. <laughs> I hope you dopes ain't making complaints about my decision. You making complaints? Look at their faces. Oh, I see it. Their eyes. <laughs> You no, boss. Complaints? Whatever you say goes, boss. I don't know what I was thinking, boss. It won't happen again, boss. You the boss, boss. Good. I'm glad we're all full of understanding for one another. So it's settled yet. Find my daughter and her friend. Did come see me. Francisco and Frankie look like this. <laughs> And just so we're clear here, if you don't find my daughter, your luck may turn terrible. He's a pretty cool character, isn't he? He's the Dawn. Yo. <laughs> it's all about the business. It's all about the family. Reminds me of the, uh, Tony D'Angelo in NXT. <laughs> yeah. Did you know that one of these Goombas is a fixer? A what? A fixer? Use your hammer to f if you're looking for those star pieces. You know what? Go to the back. I feel like there's one around here. I don't think so, but there is one in the back. Back here? Yeah. It's, uh. You go right. Yeah. as you might. What are star pieces even used for in this game? Is for that one dude that sells stuff in the underground? That's it? Yeah, that's it, I believe. Damn. He has pretty good uh, stuff. Pretty, pretty good badges. There's a rat to your left. I mean, right. A what? There's a character that I think he shows up now. That's in the uh, the port area. That's the fixer right there. The fixer? What does it do? Um, like, I think you gotta use, um, Goombella to tell you. Oh, the fixer. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, that's fucking badass. <laughs> 
you know what? You can unlock this, uh, this area. Where you're able to... Fast travel with pipes. Oh, I found it already. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, I thought you needed Flurry to get in there. Uh-uh. No, you need Coops. I think. Coops? Yeah. No, you need Flurry. No, I swear to <coughs> God, I've been in there already. Downstairs? Yeah. I want to see if he's got any badges. There's pretty lucky. I should probably have that, shouldn't I? What is it, two? Yeah. Pretty lucky's alright. Chill out? Let's chill out. Never Never to him. Oh, There's Power uh, Plus. And Power, power plus, plus Partner. I have enough to get both. Quick change. You have enough uh, BP to get both? Uh, power Plus P, well. you're gonna... You're gonna get a Power Plus P in the next chapter. I do not have enough... I can equip one of them. But I could also get Quick Change right now. Peekaboo's also good. Mm. You think I should get any of these then? I would get, I would get Peekaboo, because you're you have not been using Goombella's tattle. Okay. And I would save up. Save up. Uh, get any more? Yeah. Well. Yeah, I would save up maybe to get a power plus. But Power Plus P is in the, uh, you can get one that's basically for free in the next chapter. Alright. Um, so you did unlock it? Yeah, I just gotta remember how to get back down there. Just go in that pipe. Not that pipe, but you know. This one? Yeah. Then you just use your new your paper curse to go past this grate. You use flurry right here. You didn't go in there. No, but I've been Lying. in a place where Yeah, yeah I this have is... been here already. Oh you have? I went in through the other way. Oh. I didn't know. <laughs> well, at least you could just take that pipe to go to Rogueport. Yeah, I went... I came through this way. Yeah, because you can... That should kill. Oh, okay. You can get dropped from the top. I see. That's what I did. That is what I did. See, I see. Nice. See, yep, I got all the shine sprites in chapter two. We did. You could have just taken the rope port pipe. Oh, you're right. He's, he's on the right side. What the fuck is that? Master Splinter? <laughs> is that you? That's Lumpy Ratui. His dream is to strike it rich by finding oil. I gotta admire the dedication. Guys like this make me want to chase my dreams harder. Still, when I talk to him, it seems more he's just up for whatever, you know? Hey, you're Mario! Wow, this is so cool, I never thought I'd be a celebrity out here. 
Oh, I know. You want to make an investment, Mario? My name's Lumpy, and I'm heading out to Dry Dry Desert to prospect for oil. I've lived my life hoping to get rich quick, and now my chance has come. But I still don't have enough startup funds. Could you please lend me some money? I'm expecting initial investments of 100 coins or more. Should I do it? I mean, me and Aaron did it. I kind of forgot what you get out of doing this, but i do it. Alright. Thank you so much, you won't regret it. I'm still accepting the investments, can I? No. Fine, whatever, be that way, it's your call. But I'll be here with for a while in case you come to see your senses and want to invest. Just let me know. What's his name? <laughs> uh, Lumpy. So this is where you two are hiding, huh? Huh? Hey, I'm gonna have to get in the middle of this. Sorry. Hey, back off, creep. You want something or you just like slide, side, 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 sidling? Sidling? I don't know. Oh. What? Daddy asked you to find us and take us to him? Frankie, what should we do? Daddy finds us now. Oh, I don't know. The boat's coming any minute. <laughs> you wanna do it? Oh, um, I was checking something. <laughs> yeah, it says it is worth, um, investing in his investments. Okay. Let's say how much you should put in there. Um, you just keep going till he's done. Oh, okay. Which you, and they do say that the cap for 999 coins is gone. So, I can imagine it's gonna be a lot of money for sure. Um, I think like definitely over $800. Oh, uh, wow. dollars. 800 coins. Don't you know what we'll do if we don't do that? Persistent. Persistent. We'll do anything, Sean, do the thing. Baby doll! That's alright. Baby doll! No, that's right. Baby. Baby doll. Baby doll. If we can't just talk, come. Like with the boss. You'll understand. Oh, Frankie. My Frankie. Don't you love me? <laughs> of course I love you, sugar cookie. More than anybody in the whole world. <laughs> then let's go, Frankie. Let's run. To the ends of the earth if we have to. But Butter Biscuit, <laughs> they already found us out. We can't keep running forever. We can, Frankie. The more you try to put out the flames of love, the hotter they burn. Until I marry you, no one will extinguish these flames. Passion. No one. It's a good thing I'm not her, because I gave her the lowest lame voice. <laughs> no. Not lame, but lowest Griffin voice, yeah. Don't you see, mister? I beg you, pretend you never saw us. Can you do that? Of course. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, mister. You're swell, mister. You're a real stand-up guy. I better get the fuck out of town. What should we do, Mario? We at least have to tell Don Pianta something. But that stuff about our luck turning terrible didn't sound about all that appetizing. Well... I think we just gotta go return to him and tell him Ain't nothing here, man. <laughs> yeah, you dropped through the grate and he came out the other way? Yeah. Come back, the proverbial mustache. You're gonna brighten my mood. <laughs> so, 
Gif, what you got? You know the whereabouts of these two runaways? Yeah, I'd like tell them no, right? Your choice. <laughs> Bitch, I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> I must be going deaf! Did you see? To me, that you couldn't tell me! <laughs> you come watching in here and say that to me! To me! Do I look like a fucking thing, you? <laughs> I warned you, wise guy. Fine. We're gonna need a mop to pick up what's left of you. <laughs> Daddy, wait! There, he's gonna put you in fucking pieces, yeah. man. <laughs> it's pretty dark for a Mario game. Francesca. Francesca! <laughs> boss, forgive me, boss. I'm sorry. Truly, I am. <laughs> Freaky. So, back you come, head hung low, and with your tail between your legs. No, Daddy, don't hurt him. I'm the one who said we should elope. It was me. But Frankie said no. He said we should come back and talk to you, Daddy. Boss, I mean, boss. listen, I don't care what you do to me. I deserve it all for being disloyal. <laughs> but you gotta forgive her. Forgive your daughter, boss. That's all I ask. No, Daddy, no, no, no. I'm on the bad one. It's my fault. If you're gonna punish anyone, punish me! No, boss! It's all on me! It's my responsibility! All the blame, right here! Daddy! Boss! <laughs> Yarr! Oh, no! Uh... What? <laughs> Francisca! My headstrong daughter! You used up your last favor long ago. <laughs> and you, Frankie, you were like a son to me. This is how you repay your debt to Don Pionta. <laughs> I feel such disappointment in you two. It's like a poison mushroom in me gut. Daddy! Push! Push! <laughs> I don't ever want to see your mugs again. You hear me? <laughs> Get out of my sight, both of you. I don't care where, just go! <laughs> that's what you expected me to say, huh? <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying! Go! Oh, do what you want, even if it means getting married. Oh, daddy! <laughs> Dad! Oh, no, wait, I mean balls! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, daddy. Thanks for your blessing. <laughs> I'll make your daughter a happy woman. I promise you, she'll want for nothing. <laughs> enough, enough already. Just go. Go. Francesca, see if you're this happy makes me happy too. Congrats, both of you. Frankie, this is great. I mean, the way this all turned out is a bit sappy, but hey, things turned out okay, I'm alright. Goodbye, Daddy. Farewell and thank you. How will I fit through the door? It's fucked up. <laughs> you still here? <laughs> <laughs> well, you found my daughter and got her to come back here. <laughs> and just look at how things turned out. What a complete and utter soap opera. <laughs> but hey, the deal's a deal. You can have your blue ticket, like I said. Cool. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> that guy's got her smiling ear to ear. She's happy. That's good. <laughs> hey, I knew you were the right man for the job. Thanks a bunch, Pally. <laughs> now go on. Get your ugly mug out of my office. I got some intense emotions to... Compartmentalize. Fine, out here. <laughs> Yay, awesome! We did it! Now we can go to Glitzville. How about I go to Glitzville? Hey, how'd you feel about that mini arc? That was kind of funny. Yeah. I like the, the <laughs> hell, it was just basically the Don's family. <laughs> yeah. You ready for some side quests? 
or do you have enough time? Uh, we'll probably end this part here. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and... Where's the warp pipe? There. Warp pipe? Oh, you mean to Glitzville? Yeah. It's not a warp pipe. So it's you not. go to the... Yeah, you're in the right area. You gotta go north now. North! The south! Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> Diversions, man. They hurt my, they hurt my head. There it is. The blimp. Is this the train? This is a train. Oh, I can't wait for that. Is that lack of Lester? <laughs> That's just a lack of tube. Oh. This flight goes to Goodsville. You will need a ticket to travel with us. Everything looks in order. Will you be coming aboard? Yes. I wonder if he eats the ticket. And please watch your step as you step aboard. <laughs> she got stuck. I said there was a star piece back here. Oh, I know the star piece is talking about. I just forgot how you get in there. Is it? Then just use your hammer. Get things around here. Ah. Star piece. It was not the star piece I thought it was. Alright. Looks like we'll go ahead and end here. Right before we get to the blimp. Alright, but I hope everybody enjoyed chapter two. I hope everybody enjoyed Sean. Hopefully we can get him for a few more. <laughs> I gotta uh, go farther so he doesn't catch yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't want he doesn't want me to go ahead of him. Uh <laughs> But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and peace out. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.